This is a WTJX News Brief. VIPD officers and other emergency personnel found a body of a Caucasian male floating in the water at the Christiansted Wharf last night, said police spokesperson Toby Dorima. Dorima said an investigation into the matter is launched and the identity of the victim is being withheld pending next of kin notification. There appeared to be no sign of foul play. However, it's too early to decide, Dorima said. Detectives asking anyone who knows anything about this to call 911 or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. Education Commissioner Raquel Barry Benjamin says one reason for the pushback in the start of schools is the lack of critical items. Many of our school districts across the U.S. mainland, the VI Department of Education is experiencing unprecedented delays in the shipment of critical items that would help us open schools safely, including automatic soap dispensers and automatic hand sanitizer dispensers. Without these items installed in our school buildings, we will not receive the requisite approval from the VI Department of Health to return students to our campuses. It is important to note that hand washing stations and plexiglass partitions are not required of the CDC. However, the VI Department of Education has invested in these optional fixtures to ensure a safe and comfortable learning environment for all students and staff. Warren Roebuck, Senior Vice President at Banco Popular, spoke at the ceremony for the building of the new Dono Housing Complex in St. Thomas and also the impact it's going to have on the community. Housing development not only fills the basic human need of shelter and safety, it stimulates significant economic growth. The construction phase of this project will create jobs. It will require purchase of materials, engage professional transportation and trade services. But the economic impact will go beyond the construction phase. The future tenants will stimulate consumption and retail economic activity as they settle into their new homes. Their children will have access to amenities to support their learning and growth. This project offers our community so much more and shelter for 85 fa- 84 families. This project is well placed to stimulate economic growth. It will boost activity in the surrounding retail air shopping areas, transportation, schools, and employment opportunities. It will foster economic growth, stimulate workforce development, and improve the lives of many individuals within the territory. That's your WTJX News Brief. I'm Doug Harris.